Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I really enjoyed the vlog style video I did the last time at Logi's, so I figured I would do more of like a chit chat video today. And sorry if I look away from the camera, it's just the thing I do, and I'm not gonna be editing a bunch of clips out, so you're gonna see me look off into the distance sometimes. Um, it's just me collecting my thoughts. But I noticed um, with social media, no matter what platform you are sharing on, whether it's beauty or food or plants, fashion, usually people only share the really glamorous, beautiful sides to whatever, whatever thing you're interested in. Same goes for plants. So if you go on Instagram, you're gonna be really inspired and you're gonna see gorgeous pictures everywhere. You're gonna see these jungles full of like lush greenery and it just looks like, like they're living a perfect life in their perfect jungle home. And in reality, that's not the case because if you own a plant, it's going to be infected by either disease or bugs at some point. And I feel like it's really important to put this out into the world that it's not perfect and it's totally okay if your plant becomes infected. This past week, I feel like every single day I have had to treat, like I've gone to work, came home, I've had to treat my plants with like insecticide, I've had to treat root mealybug, and I didn't even know any of these plants had anything wrong with them. On the surface, they looked completely fine. And then as I looked closer at the soil, I noticed little aphids and thrip crawling around. And the, with the root mealy bug, same thing. The leaves looked fine because I'd always inspect the upper part of the plant. And then I took the plant out of the pot and the roots were covered in mealy bug. And I posted on my Instagram, like on my story, what I was experiencing. And this morning I also talked about this on my Instagram. And a lot of people felt the same way. Like you can feel really frustrated, like you're the only person having problems like with your plants when no one else is posting about it. So I think it is so important to also share that this happens. Um, because it's not all glamour and it takes a lot of work. If you're gonna care for anything that's living, it's gonna take work. And things will happen to that living creature, whether that be an animal or a plant, whatever it is, and you have to take care of it or it's going to eventually die and that disease or bug could spread to your other plants. So yeah, I've gotten really frustrated because I've been wanting to do other things like work out and run and I haven't had time because I'm trying to freaking take care of my plants and like it's ridiculous. So I've really realized like I cannot keep buying plants. I need to cut down on that. I know I have a tendency to like to shop. I've always been this way and I need to cut back on spending and I, that's just a part of like the American culture, the human culture, like people all, all over the world are obsessed with spending. And I realized also after reading other people's information, like on Instagram, that you need to really just appreciate what you have, including the plants that you have, because they're going to grow larger, they're going to get bigger, and you're not going to have room for your big plants if you have like 200 or 300 plants, like it's ridiculous. So I realized I need to just really appreciate what I have and care for it and nurture it and it's going to be a lot more of a pleasant experience and a great a good experience if I have a smaller collection. So that's another thing. I'm not going to continue to buy plants like I used to. It's just gotten out of hand. And I really got interested in minimalism like last fall and like that went out the door when I became interested in plants. And I definitely want to have like a large collection, but I can't have an infinite never-ending collection of plants like it's it's just too much but yeah I just wanted to like put that out there that nothing's perfect no situation is perfect um, and especially for those people who are new to collecting plants I've had some people say to me I hope I never get any pests and like that's a great thing to hope that you don't get bugs in your plants but it's gonna happen eventually and that's just part of owning plants. If you don't want bugs in your house, then don't own plants because it's going to happen. It's not fun, but it's something you have to deal with. So I don't want to end this on a negative note. I love owning plants and taking care of them, but you have to realize that it's not all perfect. It's a lot of hard work when you get an infestation and it can be really frustrating. 
So if you are a new plant parent or if you're thinking about owning plants, I would recommend when you buy your first plant, Go to the pesticide or whatever natural remedy you want to use, which doesn't always work, but go to like the insecticide section and purchase some things you can use to fight any kind of infestation because it's going to happen. <laughs> and before you even bring your plant home, make sure you inspect it. Make sure there's nothing crawling around. Look under the leaves to make sure there's nothing hiding. Usually they do hide like under the, the underside of the leaves because you don't want to bring any infected plants to your house. But yeah, maybe we can start a discussion in the comment section if you've had any difficulties with your plants um, because you're not alone. I feel your, your pain. And like this might sound ridiculous talking about this, but this is like one of my passions. I love collecting plants and like it's important to me. And I don't want other people to think that they're the only ones out there trying to fight like bugs on their plants. But yeah. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on this. And if you have ever struggled with keeping plants happy and pest free. Um, but yeah, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're new. I usually post content that's more upbeat and positive and informational. But I just, I really do like these more down-to-earth chatty videos because it'll help you get to know me a little bit better and it will help start different conversations among all of you plant people but yeah anyway you can also follow me on my instagram it's juju succulents and i do try to keep it real on there and i post even negative stuff on my stories like if i'm struggling with any bugs or pests so you can also follow me on there all right so i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one bye